Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome to my DLC 3 Descent multiplayer first impressions. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that this is going to be a negative video. However, I don't want it to be like a super overwhelmingly uh, pessimistic video. It's just that we've gotten three DLC packs now, and I feel like we have yet to experience a new map. I do want to make an in-depth video about this, but these maps, if you haven't played them, if you're on Xbox, which I know some of you beautiful people are, you are honestly not missing anything. I mean, Cryogen is probably the most like the regular Treyarch three lane maps that we have had that's a medium map. You know the head glitches, you know the lines of sight, you know there's a big center, there's a left route and a right route and all that sort of good stuff. There's literally nothing to say about it other than it's a typical Treyarch map that we have here in Black Ops 3. The Rumble one, the Rumble with all of the robots, that's probably my least favorite because it's like two lanes. It's it's worse than three lanes because it's, it's a two lane map. It's a big outside area with a left side of the map that's not outside. And then there's a tunnel connecting the two. That's, that's literally what it is. It's two maps. It's even worse than the three map system that we have. I will say that it looks like it could be good for sniping, but I think there's a better map for sniping, and that's gonna be Berserk, the snow map. This is my favorite map because this one feels the most like a, a truly different three lane map. This one is, it doesn't feel like a Black Ops 3 map, at least yet. It feels more, well I guess it does, it feels more like a hunted, it feels more like a more diverse, you get a better, different, more diverse range of engagements with Berserk. This is the Viking one, the snow one. You get you get the ability to, in between the three lanes, you get the ability to have different feels of cover. It's not like a standard square map. It's kind of a more rigid rocky. It almost reminds me of Summit to a certain extent from Black Ops 1. It's definitely the best, the best map in this map pack. And there's a really cool wall run right in the middle where you can flank B. I actually captured B or defended B or something uh, using that flank route, which is really, really cool. And it's it's routes like that that really utilize uh, the wall running mechanics, and I really like that. But don't get me wrong, it's still a three-lane map. And that brings us to Raid. Um, I forget exactly what they call it here, but it, it, it's Raid. This is... Uh, the Black Ops 2 all over again, um, and that's not a good thing. It's really not. I mean, this is. Well, I mean, I guess for some people it's a good thing. For me, it's not a good thing. Um, Black Ops 2. If you guys don't know, is one of my least favorite Call of Duties. We'll we'll get to why here in this video soon. But it plays pretty much exactly the same. It's a little bit faster paced with the thrusters because everyone can get everywhere really quickly. Uh, but that's that can be said for all maps. Um, if you liked Raid, I. I think you'll like this map. I don't know. I didn't like Raid, and I, I mean, I'm indifferent on this map or whatever. Um, but it looks beautiful. All of these maps, friggin' gorgeous, man. They're very, very beautiful. The art design at Treyarch. Good job, because they're very atmospheric. I believe we're in these worlds. It's really cool. Now, this is where we're going to start to get even more pessimistic, so beware, okay? But am I the only one who's starting to think think that this is more and more becoming like Black Ops 2, like at, at the beginning of Black Ops 3, Black Ops, Black Ops 3's life cycle, uh, the lag was at least better than it is now, it was noticeable, it wasn't great, it was actually kind of really bad, uh, but it wasn't as bad as it is now, uh, I feel like my auto aim, at least on the PlayStation 4, is really, really strong and really, really tied to connections. I also feel like the footsteps at launch were great, uh, and I felt like they were perfect, and now I feel like they're 50-50, and, and that rant video I did, you guys really, really embraced that video, which is really weird, but with these maps, with these footsteps, with these connections, this is Black Ops 2 with thrust jumping. That's all this is, and that is definitely not a good thing. I really, really hate Black Ops 2 because it was the worst lag I've ever experienced, and the maps were so uninspired and boring, and you ran into, you would run into three guys, and the fourth guy would come, you would kill the fourth guy, the fifth guy would come, you would kill the fifth guy, the first guy would come back and respawn, and because the maps are so small and simplistic, you get no strategy, it's just a head on head on head on head gunfight every single time, there's head glitches, that's the only type of cover, that's the only type of engagement that you get in this 
game. Now, this is a very, very safe move to go, and it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. These maps aren't bad, but they're just the same thing over and over again. Like, I love Departed from Call of Duty Ghosts. But the reason I like Departed from Call of Duty Ghosts is because I also hate Chasm from Call of Duty Ghosts. And that's one of the reasons why they stick with this three-lane system, because of the fact that it's safe. It's a, it's a very consistent playstyle. These maps aren't great, and they're not horrible. They're just the same. If we got... It's, if, we, if we did get Departed from Call of Duty Ghosts for every single map, again, it wouldn't be bad, but it wouldn't be good. It would be safe. It would be the same thing over and over again. And that is not, well, at least what I want in my Call of Duty. I want some diversity. I want some strategy. I want, I want somewhere to move around and to outthink my enemies instead of just this one single type of engagement of, of getting double kills and then having them respawn and just come back and kill me while I'm reloading or hurt. Not to mention the fact that I can't hear anybody, and my aim is completely dependent on the connections. And I know that sounds really like tinfoil hat of me to say that my aim is dependent on my connections. Like, I know when I have bad aim, and of course, I have bad aim quite often. In fact, I think it's one of the worst things about my Call of Duty uh, skill set. But there are times when I'm playing the PlayStation 4 where I'm like, no, my aim is not that perfect. If it was that perfect all the time, then I would be getting more kills than I am. There are times where my sticky aim is on point, but there are other times where it's like, I can't even like remotely get, like there's a magnetic pull away from them. And then there's other times where there's a magnetic pull right to them. And it's just, it's just weird. So I don't, I don't feel like I have first impressions when I play these maps. It's like, oh, it's this again. Okay, the only map I really want to play again is Berserk because I feel like there's a good variety of engagements in there. It's good, uh, there's a little bit room to work with. Not a whole lot, but a lot compared to what we have had in Black Ops 3 so far. And unfortunately, I just think that's the way it's going to be. I think that's what Treyarch is, I think that's what Treyarch does, and guess what, beautiful people? That's okay. In fact, I think that's a great thing. I think we should stick to that Treyarch. Take your three lane maps. They're beautiful, they're awesome, they're consistent for the players who love them, they can have them. I have no problem with that. But me, I'm gonna stick to my complex maps. Infinity Ward, you stick to your complex maps. You know what? You can have Chasm in the next Call of Duty. You can also have Siege and Stormfront so long as you give us maps like Bayview and Departed and you can bring back Dome if you want and all of those beautiful DLC maps you had in Call of Duty Ghosts because that's what Call of Duty should be. Call of Duty should not be a yearly game, it should be a three year game. And Sledgehammer, I, I, I appreciate the effort, just keep trying. Maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll get it. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm not mad. I just want to say that I'm not like mad or disappointed or upset at all. I don't like hate Black Ops 3. I love Black Ops 3. It's just that it's its own game. It's its only it's its own style. And I don't think that we're expected to play it for hours and hours on end like we could with Call of Duty Ghost and Marvel for 2 and Black Ops 1 even. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Sorry I was a little ranty, but that's my first impressions of the DLC maps here for multiplayer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.